Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with yet another Atlanta Falcons video. If you haven't had a chance to check out your boy's interview with Chuck Smith, all right? Yes, your boy, man, Mike, had an interview with Chuck Smith. If you guys have not had a chance to check it out, man, he showed your boy some love, man, and he blessed us with his presence, one of the greatest Atlanta Falcons defensive ends to ever grace, you know, the uniform, man. Um, and, and to play the game. He played the game well. No one can take that away from Chuck. He played the game well. He put up multiple double-digit sack season, so it ain't no fluke. It is, he's the real deal, and he's a real cool cat, man. And I, I just got a newfound respect for him. Um, we did clear some things up as far as, you know, my issue with him. The only issue that I had with him was him going at Vic B. The, and you know him not giving tack that same type of energy and he agreed that he did give you know vic he was a bit harsh on vic because because that vic showed that he could be a you know a sack leader so once you get there for chuck once you reach the mountaintop for chuck he expects consistency from you he expects consistency so when you're not doing that Chuck is going to look down on you, man. So, um, just got to be real with you guys, man. Got a newfound respect for Chuck Smith, man. He just tell it like it is. Uh, you know, Atlanta Falcons fans, we want to give you guys absolutely nothing but the hardcore truth. And that's the, what Chuck Smith wants to shake uh, that, That's what Chuck uh, Smith wants to bring to the Atlanta Falcons fans, all right? None of this ESPN crap. He's going to, you know, sugarcoat thing. Chuck is going to give it real, his opinion, his way, all right, without being censored. So you guys check out his YouTube channel. I have a link to the script, uh, link to his channel in the description as well. But when it all comes down to it, man, three things that I learned from him and, you know, having a talk with Chuck Smith, man, um, one, the first one is the secondary, all right? The secondary for the Atlanta Falcons, I think he uh, likes the secondary for the most part, um, but these guys are inexperienced, man. They need to get these guys, you know, acclimated to a scheme. I think the issue with the Falcons is scheme and above all others is awareness. These guys' awareness just isn't on par, man. These guys' awareness just ain't it. All right, KZ, a lot of these guys, the young Defensive backs, yes, they are talented. Yes, they can play the game, but they need more time and they need coaches to, you know, be able to show them the proper technique, show them, you know, their assignments, show them and be able to learn it and apply it on the field. So um, the Falcons secondary, those guys are, uh, he feels as though that the Falcons secondary are talented, but they need a little bit more uh, experience and they need to up their game as far as awareness. These guys, they, they get lost from time to time in, in the secondary. So um, when it comes down to it, your boy Chuck Smith does feel like the Falcons, uh, they need to work on their awareness experience. And they're missing your boy Keanu Neal. He doesn't know if Keanu Neal is going to come back the same uh, player. And, you know, he talked about him spraying, uh, spraying his ACL, but uh, tearing his ACL. And it, it took him about two years to kind of come back from that. So um, I, I don't know if Keanu Neal is going to come back the same player. I, I, I highly doubt it. But it's going to be an uphill battle. And the Falcons are searching for that secondary, uh, that, that strong safety that can do what Keanu Neal did uh, as far as being uh, on the Atlanta Falcons uh, secondary. All right. Two is that the Falcons just need some dogs, man. The Falcons need some dogs. The Falcon needs some head busters on that team. All right, and this is something that not only you, uh, we have all, you know, kind of come to the conclusion when you look at this team, nobody fears this Atlanta Falcons defense. Nobody fears us. As much as we like Grady Jarrett, Grady Jarrett can't do it alone. He needs some guys that's going to be alongside him and it's going to impart fear, you know, into these guys. When you step step on the field, you know you're gonna have to come. You coming to a war, boy. That's what the Atlanta Falcons are lacking, and that's what Chuck Smith needs, and he wants to see from this Atlanta Falcons defense. All right, he, he likes Dante Fowler. He likes your boy Marlon Davidson, and he really okay. I'm gonna just say this: he really, really loves Marlon Davidson. All right, this is 
one guy they had high on his draft board is Marlon Davidson and the Falcons end up getting him. So the Falcons, um, they expect him to be uh, alongside Grady, uh, rushing the pass as a three tech. Um, but, you know, it, it's going to take him some time to get acclimated to the Falcons system, uh, the NFL way of doing things, the NFL speed. Um, but he, he really thinks the Falcons need some head busters. They need some dogs on that defense, man, to kind of impart fear into these uh, into these offensive uh, teams, man. Um, but the NFC, NFC South, of course, is, is really one. Uh, it, it's a good division. Um, Tampa Bay, New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? They're going to do their thing. But, you know, uh, one thing that I wanted, uh, he, I, I heard him say uh, during the interview is that, you know, people are really scared of Gronkowski. Gronkowski but look, this dude, has had a number of issues with his injuries all right and this is coming from chuck smith he's having issues with injuries and he doesn't expect gronkowski to come out and be that same dominant tight end that we you know we have seen over the years this guy pretty much just left the nfl um with you know injury problem so um he's gonna get hurt man and this is just coming from chuck smith so i'm not really worried about gronkowski He's not really worried about Gronkowski and the Falcons. You know, he feels as though the Falcons are going to be a pretty good defense. And the third one and the final one is that I know a lot of people are kind of down on Dan Quinn. Um, he says some things about Dan Quinn, but I, I asked him to clear it up. And he pretty much stated that Dan Quinn is a good coach, but he's just doing too much. He needs to delegate, um, trust his defensive coordinators, trust his position coaches to teach do their job and stay out of everything stop trying to fix the offense stop trying to fix the defense and the, and the linebackers let the linebackers coach do their thing and he just sit back trust these guys you know look at you know uh, clock management and you know let them figure out the rotations and you know who uh, can play where and you know just let raheem let raheem morris do his job let you know, dirt cutter do their things and stop trying to recreate 2016, all right? And, you know, when it all comes down to it, man, um, like I said, I, I really had a great time uh, with the interview with Chuck Smith and um, Falcons fans, man. Um, you guys, again, go check out his channel, man. Chuck Smith is a real cool dude, real cool cat. He did not have to, you know, grace me uh, with his presence uh, on uh, my channel, get the interview. And like I said before, man, you guys continue to support your boy here at Mad Mike Sports, man. Um, I appreciate everybody for continuing to help me get to 4,000. Um, 3,700 just went over 3,700 subscribers, uh, all because of you guys. So uh, when it all comes down to it, man, I'm going to help continue to provide you guys with the best content, the real content, and, you know, straight to the point because they don't want to respect us. They don't want to respect us. We have to. So uh, with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this. Leave your comments below. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.